Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the ever awesome Distant Worlds. We are playing the Bacon mod alongside Harry 78's Distant Worlds Extended. Today, we are going to look at a couple things, but before I fired up the episode, I just uh, reassigned some uh, science ship uh, research. We um, finished up, we were working on contributing to enhanced commerce. So we've now moved on to open trade networks. So all these ships sort of picked a random uh, high tech uh, item to research. So I've, res I've reset that to be long range scanners. So these guys are now going to research long range scanners. And we're still going for improved uh, logistics and advanced fissile re exploitation on the other stuff. So I reset that before we got going so you wouldn't have to sit and watch me do it. All right. Uh, one thing I do want to maybe look at this episode um, before I do that, let's maybe take care of this beacon that's going off. Who's close by? Uh, the SB Sabouts is close by. So we're going to come over here and just check out what's going on with this here beacon. All right. Uh, just let the game progress a bit. Oh, yeah, he's probably in a gravity well here, so he's not going to just jump right over. Yep, and there he goes. Okay, our engineers have finished improving our missiles. Excellent. So we got better uh, missiles on our bases and everything already, and those uh, ranger ships will be a bit better as well. Um, I think I'm going to finish picking this up because that's uh, going to work with what I'm about to mention now. And that is, we are going to make an effort to come over and grab this independent. Uh, right now, it is the only colonization option we have. So I think we need to work towards getting that. Unfortunately, it's going to require a bit of overhead to pull it off. Because these guys have like 40 troops on their planet. And their total strength is 607k. Wow. So i got to come up with at least double this in order to be successful. We do have a troop general, which might help. I don't know whether we can actually see his traits yet. Oh, yep. Uh, he's got inspiring presence too. Plus 5% uh, to all skills. So ground attack strength plus 10%. Excellent. So moving him over to King Blin actually worked to uh, get some uh, traits kickstarted. And he's got a bit of experience. I think we got raided or something. That's probably where that experience came from. So that's kind of the plan I'm working towards right now. Like I said, it's going to cost a bit of uh, financial overhead to get over there and do it. And uh, somebody somebody made a comment about the bonus income. Said it was at twenty grand at one point. Now it's down to two grand. Well, this is annual, and it's basically just the right now. It's just the uh, private sector building ships that's given us that. So if they don't build any ships in a year, we don't get any bonus income. We don't have any foreign trade or resort bonuses yet. Uh, what are our spies doing? I just want to have a quick look here. They're stealing research still. Uh, you'll be back uh, 64, 11. Okay, these guys will be finished uh, pretty soon. So uh, maybe what I'll do is get one of them to go over to the Caliph home world, find out where that is, and we'll get an ambassador over there because Caliphs are a reptilian species, and that is within my rules of who to trade with. So we'll be able to set up some trade. They do naturally like us. So eventually they will uh, come around and we'll get some trade going with them finally. But uh, anybody that's not a reptilian species, we're not going to trade with. So that's kind of the rules I've made for myself. And it's going to be a tough one since we're kind of hurting on cash anyways. Let's have a look at our home world for a sec. We are now growing at 3%. Ooh, rocking. So hopefully the, if we get maxed out at some point here so we can get our GDP up. Because uh, we're kind of hurting for cash. So glad to see that. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. 6% at Kingblin and Resinoyus. Oops. 3%, 119. And as far as in all these uh, passenger ships are up here. Now, let's have one more look at these things. Uh, I think Shroud of Zuma was the one I built. Uh, maybe not. I'm not sure what it was called now. Yeah, I've lost track of it. <laughs> uh, we could use, if I select one of them, let's come down here. Okay, well, let's select this one. Now, if I select that and use our Alt uh, keys to cycle through ships, I might be able to find it here. Oh, there it is, I think. I have action buttons here. He's kind of doing what I want him to do anyway. Oh, no, he's going over here. But I guess that's fine. 
But he could be, if I hit, I think it's Control W. I don't have a list of hotkeys up in front of me right now. But I think if we hit Control W, yep, that cancel that mission. Um, what do I have? Just let me pull up my Explorer here. And it should have this. Uh, don't mind me while I go into our root directory. Steam, oops, Steam apps. Common. If you're ever wondering where your distant world directory is, that's where you look. Okay, so if we come down here to passengers, text, Zuma Prime and Kingblen, that's uh, okay, so he's going to go over there. So I see the spelling, I've got to get the spelling right, but let's try R E S A N D O U I E S. Okay, we'll save that. Oops. All right, we'll save that and we'll minimize all this again. Now, if we hit Control W again, oop, I guess the game was still running. Okay. <laughs> all right, so we have Control W. Okay, our spies are back. So I hit Control W and uh, I'm going to hit Control Zero on this ship so we can come back to it quickly. I just have to hit Zero. Is that him there? Nope. Uh, let's see. Kelefenklave made a secret deal with the pirate faction, Dayu Confederation, to, to attack the ships and bases of the Cadian supremacy. Well, we'll keep that information to ourselves. I'm just going to pause for a sec here. Um, let's see where this ship is. Okay, you're over there. You're outside of the gravity well. But you're close enough, you'll probably impulse here. So I'm guessing you'll end up going up to that planet. So that's how we set that up. We set it up in the passenger text file. And now he'll start shunting troops that direction. All right. So I have hit control. W. I'm, pr uh, I'm pretty sure it's control W. But anyways. Um, oh, and there is a comment from, I think, Chris Lighthawk. I'll wait till this attack is over. Uh, we need to get a uh, spaceport in here. Yeah, we're being raided right now. Now, one thing we're going to have to do to do that invasion is build like, ooh, what do we got? What did I redesign? I forget what I redesigned our uh, troop transports to carry. Uh, 500, so... In order to take over that planet, I want to go at least double the strength. So they got about 40, so we'll need like 80 troops. Oh my god, it's going to break us. Uh, 80 troops, hmm. That's going to be a lot of ships. I might redesign these to take uh, 8. That'll be two, uh, two armor. Armor of 400 and... Uh, you know what, I think I'm going to do that right now before we build any of these. So let's uh, manually upgrade. This will be just a revision, eh? Oh, we don't have the space, though. Ooh. Need bigger ships to do that. Oh, well, I guess we won't worry about it then. I'll just have to build more transports. Eh. Okay, anyways. Uh, now we have another pirate coming in here, do we not? No, oh, that's one of my escorts. Okay, so he's going to come over and try to take him out. So... Yes, we do need a spaceport here. So I'm going to just build a small one, get that built quickly. And I should upgrade this one down here. Because it's still a small. I wouldn't mind the extra added protection of a medium. But how much more maintenance is that? Uh, yeah, like... Uh, yeah, 2,300 more maintenance, which we can't really do right now, but uh, we'll leave it for now. Uh, we'll see how this works out. We do have a fleet here anyways. Where is my fleet up top? Oh, yes, they're still refueling. Uh -huh. You guys going to get back there anytime soon? Looks like you're working on it. All right. So, yeah, we're going to need a lot of those transports in order to pull this off. Hmm.
Okay, that's going to take a minute. And we fended off that raid, and let's go get our spies going again. You got 11% espionage, you got 26. I'm going to send you over to grab the Caliph territory map. Good success there. And you, uh, what were we uh, trying to steal? You were trying to get target tracking, and you were trying to get light interceptors. So let's see how we made out on those. Excellent. We got all of target tracking, and we got most of the interceptors. Well, I'm going to queue that up next. So we'll finish this up, and then we'll get that done. This will give us better at uh, some attack bonus on our troops. It's definitely going to be a thing. Have a quick look in here. I wouldn't mind adjusting this at some point. I could uh, reduce this a bit. Because I wouldn't mind the research going a little more evenly, I think. This is uh, quite heavily spiked on the weapons. So I might pull maybe one, say maybe two labs off of our big design here. one so we're going to manually upgrade we'll just call that a revision b for now and we are going to pull two of these that's all i'm doing with that get that retrofitted i could do this through another screen but i always end up picking the wrong design when i do it that way so i'm just going to grab the weapons i'm going to right click Retrofit to a uh, Orbital Labs Revision B. There, I just want to make sure I got the right uh, research station. All right. Anyways, back to our spies. So we got one guy going to steal a map. We'll get you. Um, hmm. back to the diutes maybe. Uh, hyper jump inhibiting might be, but I think we think we got enough of that in the game right now. Continental colonization, maybe we'll do that. Get more colon, a few more colonization options happening for us. All right, so once we find out where the Caliph homeworld is, we'll send our ambassador over there. Okay, and what's going on over here? These guys, I think, are on their way back. Did I give them that order? Can't remember. Yeah, they're off for repair now. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah, that's going to take a mass of troops. Uh, Diet Sovereignty is declared ward on the Banisserets. Excellent. Fight amongst yourselves. Weaken yourselves down a bit. Or you might end up with one, uh, <laughs> one race being super strong after that. And we got our uh, technology and better troops. And Ian Jackson got captured. Oh, no. Oh, well, I'm just going to have to pull up my list of names here and put Ian Jackson back as an available name here. Uh, can't quite find him at the moment, though. Oh, there he is. All right, so poor Ian. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> we'll use you somewhere else in the game. Oh. All right. He wasn't my better spy. I'm not trying to be insulting or anything, but... <laughs> uh. Hopefully we get another spy soon. Yeah, he is 26%. I think Ian was uh, 11 or something. Ah, that sucks. And we don't need to worry about that. Decline. Just having a sip of coffee. It's first thing in the morning. It's like 6 a.m. right now. Badly damaged. Ooh, from a space slug. Yes, uh, almost dead. Uh, 
Okay, I guess we don't really need to sit and watch that. Ooh, secluded nexus. We have discovered the secluded nexus, ancient ruins from a lost civilization. Uh, we will investigate. Oh, yeah. Galactic history revealed. This is part of the, the uh, original storyline. It's not the Shakhtari storyline, even though they're mentioned here. Uh, in the secluded nexus, we have made a, a curious discovery. A data core found in the ruins contains a message that reveals historical details from the galaxy's distant past. The message appears to be in a confidential intelligence report describing the arrival of a new empire in the galaxy. The Goltak Republic classified analysis of the Shakhtar axis. The Shakhtar axis re uh, arrived in our galaxy. <laughs> Kind of good timing because they kind of just arrived in our galaxy too. Um, have arrived in our galaxy approximately 10,000 or 10 years ago. They have quickly established a reputation for cruelty and aggression. We should proceed with extreme caution in dealing with uh, these guys, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the Shakhtari clearly intend to dominate all around them. They demonstrate utter contempt for their neighbors. The treatment of the Tukian kingdom is a prime example of their brutality. We strongly suggest this Shakhtari, or oh, what was it? Hang on. Blech. We strongly suspect that the Shakhtari are secretly working to overthrow all the empires in the region. What, will, what their subsequent objectives are remains unclear at this stage. Yeah, it kind of fits with the timing of them showing up. And we did meet them last episode. They are in the core, which wasn't what I was intending, but that's just distant worlds in a nutshell. Okay, you still have hyperdrive. Good to go. Ooh, calling, hap calling happiness is all up again. Good. Hopefully that uh, translates to a bit better growth rate. Oh, they're happy now. Instead of just satisfied, I could crank our taxes a little bit more. But uh, that could be a reason we got a coup d'etat earlier. I can't remember if I did my tax adjustments before that happened or after. But if we uh, monkey with our taxes and make people too unhappy, we might end up uh, replacing our leader. And our leader, Bob Star, or yeah, Bob Star is uh, pretty darn good. Calling the happiness plus twenty percent. 9% income, population growth, yep. So we'd rather not replace him. And we'll try and stay within the 98% uh, percent compliance anyways. That's the amount of people that are actually willing to pay this tax. So if you go too high, then uh, yeah, you can uh, kill, your, kill your taxes that way. Yeah, that is going to be a mass of troops to take that. Um, just trying to think the best way to deal with it. Oh, and the sabots is done. What's in here? A pirate. Of course it is. So that's what the beacon was. And who's going, who's here doing what? The great Cadians are here. Fighting against the Dayu Confederation. And did a bit of damage to this, but it's still got full shields, so they didn't, uh... Oh, they got it. Got a few ships in here, or is this the pirates? I guess those are pirates, okay. Wow, they're pretty established in here. Is that uh, pirates or Cadians? I'm a bit colorblind, so... Yeah, those are the uh, the pirates. There's their construction ship, too. I could come over and cripple that. Well, we're still over here trying to get home, so... But yeah, there's another pirate base we can maybe deal with. Oh yeah, there's silver mist too up here somewhere, isn't there? Somebody released silver mist. That is not good news. Not good news at all. Oh, exploration ships are completed. They're automated. Why are all these? Oh, it's just the sabots. Okay, we'll re-automate you, get you out of there. And here comes our first fleet home now. Finally getting into the gravity well. All right, yeah. I'm just I'm just thinking about this. Just man, how many troops do we need for that? What was it? Forty on here. So I want at least eighty. Oh my god, that's horrible. 
That is horrible. I'm going to need so many transport ships. Actually, let's have a look. How strong are their troops, first of all? We go over one of these. Their strength is, uh, defense strength is 16 1. Wow! Fifteen eight. What's her? What's her actual attack strength? Um, our experienced guys have sixteen eight. Our green guys are fifteen eight. We're not even quite as strong as those troops. Wow, that's going to be a tough, tough take. That might be a couple episodes just thinking about that one. Never mind doing it. Ah, we investigated an abandoned battleship. Excellent. Get boarded and taken control. Let's have a look at this sucker. I would said sucker, by the way. <laughs> Just in case that didn't come through very well. Let's have a look at the design. Firepower of 224. Phaser cannons. Point defense cannons. Ion cannons. That's a lot of cannons. Velocity shards. Nice. A thousand shields, damage reduction, hyper deny. Wow, that's a pretty rocking ship. Excellent. Yeah, twice as big as we can build right now. Ah, where to put you? Um, I guess you should maybe. Head up our assault fleet. Off you go. And Mr. Construction Ship can come over to the next. I'm trying to find one that's still somewhat not. somewhat intact. That's a cruiser. It looks like it's pretty much ready to go. Just a few things need to be repaired. So let's grab that one quickly. I still got to get on this uh, planet destroyer, too. And where are you going? Oh, you're heading out there probably to follow these guys home. All right, so that should give us a pretty good uh, first assault fleet. 2,000 firepower. Eight fighters. Yeah. And the dice want free trade. Well, sorry. Against the rules. If you're a Kellef, I'd go for it, but... Oh, yeah. Are you not going to get out of here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I think you got full shields. How fast are you going? Faster than we are. Oh no. <laughs> Wonder if I should start putting at least one weapon on these, maybe. Might be worth doing. Haven't seen any action in here lately? I don't think so. And we have a construction ship just sitting here doing nothing. Oh, we got a few doing nothing. All right, well, let's get them doing something. Now, what do we need? Anything we need? I think we got kind of got all the, the uh, essentials anyways, at least one source. Uh, Dilithium we still don't have, but uh, not a huge deal at the moment. We don't need that for much of anything until we get to higher tech, I don't think. Nope. We're good for now. So, uh, we at least have one source of everything. We're getting pretty low on a couple things. I wonder if there's any more chromium around. Absolutely none of it. Put some carbon fiber. Absolutely none of it. 
that two polymer silicon is there any more silicon i think there's more silicon around and there is we got some wyconium here do we have wyconium as a luxury we do not so maybe we'll go for that just wondering where this is yeah it's got a slug on it though that's what i was afraid of and that's over here so we're gonna have to bring something over to take care of that first i have three fleets here somewhere i still got a numbered fleet do i not yes i do and you're sitting right there so you can come down and take care of that slug for us even though that's a capture fleet <laughs> not looking to capture a slug but We'll get that going and then we'll get a construction ship down there. Uh, technically speaking, I think the construction or the uh, fleet should beat the construction ship. So I'm going to queue up this mission right now. Uh, oop. Nope. Help if I grabbed a uh, construction ship first. Okay, build a mining station there. All right, back up to resources. And we'll see what else is close by. Uh, Tidarius, we need that for our reactors. Just how much of that do we have right now? One source, I eh? think that's it. Well, that's in one of our systems. I'm going to mine that. And I don't think... Hmm... I could have swore I did that. All my planets are still named the original names here, I think. I thought it came through and changed those. Oh, it might have been when I did that screw up with my recording. I probably did it and then uh, reloaded the game. And then I want to change all these to Zuma. But again, I'll do that between uh, episodes. I won't worry about it right now. Not a critical thing whatsoever. So we'll get our assault fleet over here to take that out in a minute. You know what we probably need to take that is armor. We need this tech. Maybe I'll queue that up for after light interceptors. That'll help. That will definitely help. I also need bigger ships too. So that's almost done. I should almost queue this up. Man, it's going to be a minute though. There, that's a little more in line, I guess. Not perfect, but at least that's uh, reduced that a little bit. No, it hasn't. Oh, I'm building a colony ship, aren't I? I am. I forgot I did that. Yeah, we're going to try colonizing some asteroids. So unfortunately, that uh, retrofit is behind that. I thought that was looking the same. Oh, guys, stop exploring this. Did we lose this about? I think we did. Nope. Oh, that is this about. Still trying to get out of here. How far do you have to go? Oh, you're still exploring. You're not escaping. Hang on. You should be escaping. You're not escaping. You're just carrying on with your exploration. Well, I think we'll hit a manual escape order here. Let's just get you to go explore this system. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. Shields are almost down. Yeah, he's still trying to warp and he can't. Ugh. All right. Yeah, that's probably going to get destroyed on us. 
unfortunately. And I never did finish up with <laughs> getting this done. Uh, let's come back in and get this finished. So what do we got left? I think we got two left. Not one left. Yeah, we got some necrostone, helium. How much helium do we have? Two sources. We could probably definitely use some more. Let's see what else is close by. Jacanta Ivory. we kind of need that'll definitely help our finances to get some of these luxuries in and trading all right uh, I think yes we're pretty much at our half hour point here and how's this spaceport coming uh oh looks like we got a couple things heading to that corner Uh, 37 unbuilt. I wonder who's heading up there. Okay, you are. Bathroom of Junction. Don't look like you're waiting. Now you're actually heading a, a different direction. I think that's a false flag, this. He's not even heading that way. No, he's heading down to this one here. Okay, hmm. I don't know whether I'm going to, to actually spend a huge amount of resources on escorts. I usually have them buzzing around doing whatever, but... Yeah, I'm not sure on that. Anyways, I guess we'll bring this one to a close and we'll uh, pick this up next time. I think i got enough time to do one more episode this morning. Just having a quick look around before we go. Doesn't look like there's anything. Are the uh, Shakturi still in here? Probably. Yeah, nobody's invading. I don't think any of these are troop transports, are they? They're all escorts. 18 firepower. Not overly powerful. So if, <laughs> if there's ever a time to get rid of the Shakturi, now would be it. But I don't even know where they are as far as homeworlds or anything. They're in the cluster here somewhere. And that's just what distant worlds will do to you. You mean you plan on stuff and other stuff happens. Oh, we got two more beacons out here too. Oh, we'll look at those next time. Thanks for joining me.